What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Traxxas Repair Series where I'm going to show you how to fix, how to repair, how to replace broken parts and just in general how to maintain your Traxxas vehicles so you can keep them all dialed in and maximize the fun. So pull up a chair, hit that subscribe button and don't go anywhere. Hey guys, got a new merch store available with some hats, shirts, and other accessories. So if you want to pick up some cool swag and support the channel, go ahead and click that link in the description below. All right, class, today we're going to learn how to change out our caster block on our two-wheel drive Traxxas vehicle. Uh, this is going to be demonstrated on the two-wheel drive slash. So you might be thinking to yourselves, well, the caster block seems really hard to do because I've got a lot of stuff I got to take off to get to it. It's really not hard and I'm here to walk you through it. So don't worry. First things first, wheel off, just like most repairs. Gotta get access to the part you're working on. So seven mil nut driver, take the wheel nut off, put the wheel to the side. Boop. Just like that. And then you've got your caster block here, um, which is attached to the steering block and also the pivot point um, on the A-arm there. So you do have to pull the steering block out to get to the caster block removal, but that's actually really, really simple. All you got to do is pull the one pin that the steering block pivots on. So this is a two mil driver here to pull this pin out. Um, depending on your vehicle, it may or may not use a shaft with two E-clips. So pull an E-clip off of the top side and then you can slide it down through the bottom to get the pin out. Um, but as soon as you pull the pin out, whole steering block assembly pulls away from it. So now you've got real easy access because it's basically just like doing your rear hub carrier at this point. You got your lower pivot point here and then your upper camber link there that you got to pull off. So we are going to start at the top. You've got the nut capturing the bolt here. Pull that nut off with a 5.5 millimeter driver. All metric on these vehicles. Um, if your vehicle's old enough and it's one of the brushed models, it might be Phillips head hardware, but we're not too worried about that. Just use a Phillips driver in that case. But with that nut off, you can pull this screw out here. That'll get the camber link away from caster block that top one out and the camber link away from the caster block you can use your two millimeter driver to pull this hinge pin out so just unscrew it there pull it out keep it separate from the pin that you pulled the steering block out of because they are different lengths so you definitely want to keep them separate that way when you're putting them back together, you got the right pin in the right spot. And caster block is away from the vehicle. So pretty simple, easy way to do it. Um, these are labeled L and R for left and right. Um, these actually are different from side to side. So you gotta make sure that you're putting the left one on the left side, the right one on the right side. So pull the new one out of your package, get the appropriate one here. We are working on the left side. So we've got the L here for left. Um, and then you can start to reverse the process here. This flat, flat face with the marking on it goes towards the front of the vehicle. So slide that back in, um, line it up and get your pin through. And then you can tighten down the hinge pin there. That'll attach the lower portion of the caster block to the A-arm. And then with that snugged up, not overly tight, you want it to be nice and free. That way you get good suspension movement. Um, you can take that screw again, put it through the camber link and then thread it into the top hole here on the caster block. If you are going to the aluminum ones, um, most Traxxas hardware will have that blue marking on it with their metal parts indicating that they have thread lock on it. If it you're using hardware that doesn't have that, make sure you use a dab of blue thread lock on the aluminum ones. 
That way your screw doesn't back out on you. But get this screw threaded through and then make sure to capture it on the back side with that nut that you took off earlier um, just to prevent it from backing out on you while you're driving the vehicle. Just like so, now you can just kind of work that steering block back in and then put the pin up through the bottom and then work it through the steering block and thread that one back in. And this will always be easier for you to do it because you're not trying to film it while you're doing it. It's always harder to do stuff on camera. All right, we got that pin snugged up. Now you've got your front end all back together. Well, now that you got everything back together here, you got the new caster block in, um, string block assemblies all mounted back up. Time to put that wheel on. Now you're gonna have to line this up with the hex and since this is a tool drive, it free spins up front. So hold the back side with your finger if you need to hold the axle still while you rotate the tire to get it lined up. Put your wheel nut back on which I just dropped through the back of the wheel. Oh, like so. And voila, you have successfully replaced your caster block. Really, really simple to work on these vehicles. I mean, pretty much any part you do on them is pretty straightforward and simple. It's just getting to the part and taking the appropriate nuts, bolts, screws, whatever out to get to it. So caster block done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you out. Leave a comment down below if you got any questions. Let me know what other type of repairs you would like to see on these Traxxas vehicles. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in the next one.